Eclipse is just days away, and there's still some educated guessing associated with the celestial event. But as meteorologist Dan Brown explains, in ancient times, an eclipse meant much more than that. Today, the science behind a solar eclipse is easy to understand. The moon lines up with the sun, casting a shadow across parts of the Earth, this time across North America. And that won't happen again until 2044. People today uh, see it as a, as a, as a, uh, a fascinating thing, and, and everyone, it's sufficiently rare that uh, it's a special occasion. Although it's a special occasion now, in ancient times around the world, there were lots of myths surrounding an eclipse. Civilizations took it as a bad omen causing chaos and confusion. And although fascinating, it was a scary event. What did it mean? What was happening? The ancient Chinese thought the sun was being devoured. AIC history professor Robert Raven Cigar explains. The sun was being eaten by a dragon. And so they would go outside and uh, bang pots and pans and, and yell and stuff like that, chase the dragon away. Meanwhile, when Media and Lydia were at war during the Battle of Helios, they saw the eclipse as a warning from the gods to end the conflict and they dropped their swords. In South America, the Inca saw the eclipse as a sign of the sun god's displeasure, and they would appease the god with an appropriate sacrifice. However, it didn't take long for these myths to get dispelled. As early as 580 BCE, Greek astronomers were beginning to figure out the science behind the phenomenon. Quite famously, at least in terms of Western civilization, uh, the first uh, Greek philosopher to have been able to predict uh, an eclipse was the philosopher Thales in 585. And shortly after, civilizations around the world grew to learn what was really going on. In the more civilized places, like in Babylonia, in Greece, in Egypt, uh, the mystique of a, uh, an eclipse would have been uh, already in the rearview mirror. So although the sky will darken, the temps will drop, and the birds may flock, the eclipse on Monday is nothing more than simple science. In Springfield, First Alert meteorologist Dan Brown, Western Mass News. And our special coverage of the Great American Eclipse will continue all week right here on the networks of Western Mass News. Just tune in at 4 and 5 on ABC 40. And do you have your eclipse glasses yet? You can't see the eclipse without them. And we're giving away free eclipse glasses while supplies last this Thursday at the Western Mass News studios at the Plaza at MGM Springfield. We'll be down there from noon to 1 and again from 4 to 6 p.m.